The Space Shuttle, mission to the future. On April 12th, the Space Shuttle Columbia was successfully launched into Earth's orbit. This marked the beginning of a new age in space travel. The Columbia is the world's first reusable spaceship and is designed to carry people and equipment into space. Why is the Space Shuttle so different? Because the Space Shuttle is launched like a rocket, flies like a spaceship, and lands like a glider. The Columbia will fly not one mission, but at least 50 missions. The Space Shuttle was launched in Florida. Was it built there too? The different parts of the Space Shuttle were built in different places. The Space Shuttle is made up of three parts. The orbiter, the rocket boosters, and the external fuel tank. The orbiter was built in California, assembled in Houston, and tested. The external fuel tank was built in New Orleans. They built and tested the rocket boosters in Utah. All these pieces were transported to Cape Kennedy and assembled into the space shuttle. How many rocket engines does the space shuttle have? Altogether, seven rocket engines power the shuttle into orbit. Five engines are used for takeoff. Two are twin rocket boosters on the side, and three are main engines on the shuttle. There are also two smaller engines on the shuttle which allow it to maneuver in space. Who really launches the shuttle? The astronauts? The Kennedy Space Center in Florida launches the shuttle. Then the Johnson Space Center in Houston controls its flight in space. The Goddard Space Center in Maryland will track the shuttle's payload of satellites in future missions. What happens when the shuttle is launched? After the shuttle's main engines are fired, the two solid rocket boosters ignite. This pushes the shuttle quickly up into space. In less than a minute after takeoff, the shuttle has broken the speed of sound. A few seconds later, at Mach 4, or four times the speed of sound, the solid rocket boosters separate and parachute back to Earth. These expensive rockets are recovered in the ocean and will be used on future flights. Now it's just the shuttle's three main engines lifting it into orbit, drawing fuel from the external fuel tank. In just seven minutes from its launch, the shuttle is now traveling at Mach 17, 17 times the speed of sound. Now the final problem, releasing the external fuel tank. It must drop back into the Earth's atmosphere where it will burn up. With the tank released, the shuttle climbs into orbit some 170 miles above the Earth. In less than 20 minutes, the shuttle is flying over Europe.